So I'm going to be doing a quick review of one of these wireless meat thermometers. And what I was interested in is seeing how accurate they are. Under 480 degrees, it has a claimed accuracy of 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, it might vary more than that because my multimeter here actually has a certain amount of um, inaccuracy to it. But it should give us a ballpark. So what I did is, I'm mounting the two probes from the meat thermometer and hooking them onto just a cast iron pan and then running a thermal couple. And at ambient air temperature we can see they're reading within a few degrees of each other so they're right on. So I'm going to put it in the oven and then turn the oven on and see how close they track to each other. Okay, so I'm going to turn the oven on. We'll set it to 170 degrees. And I'll wait for it to get up to temperature, and we'll see what we get. Now what we're seeing here is it looked like initially there's a big difference, but that has more to do with the fact that I have a lot smaller probe um, at the end of my thermocouple. So to actually get an idea of how accurate this is, I'm going to wait until it equalizes. And it's getting there slowly. You can see that the multimeter reading is coming up to match that. So we'll leave it run a little bit more. It's still at the 170 setting. And then once it equalizes, we'll see how close it is. And we'll take another measurement point at probably 350 degrees. So we're still set at the 170 setting on there, and you can see it's settling out that they're pretty darn close considering plus or minus 3 on here and probably plus or minus 3 on there for the accuracy. And also any air moving around is going to cause this to fluctuate a lot more. So I'd say at the lower end for a reasonably priced meat thermometer, I think it's pretty good. I'm going to turn it up to the 350 mark and wait for it to stabilize there and see how it looks. So it's pretty much stabilized around here. My multimeter keeps showing the difference in the air changing in there and I'm guessing that the the meat thermometer is actually touching that cast iron pan so it's giving a lot more stable reading. But I'd have to say that this thing, at least with the equipment and the test method I used, is pretty much spot on for what you would want for a meat thermometer. Hopefully this was useful and thanks for watching.